Welcome to your quick hit video from the Get Control of Meetings class. Today's topic, how to complete all those meeting action items. I'll use the Helix team as an example. They were struggling to get all their action items done and this was hurting their, their progress, their performance, their reputation. And they came up with a brilliant new approach by sort of talking about this with themselves and agreeing as a team on some really simple ideas. First, they decided to get on the same page. Let's write down all our action items in one place versus each of us taking individual action items down. By doing this, they created visibility and a single document that they could use as a reference, which was convenient. Of course, they included the who was going to complete what task when, the who, what, when. And this made everything more clear, but they still had some room for improvement. Claire had a really big challenge. Sometimes she would get a task on the team action list that would say rework budget proposal, but she couldn't remember exactly what she had committed to, exactly what those steps were. So Claire suggested that for all tasks, let's over describe each action item. So the task above was changed to this, making it much more clear as to what exactly needed to be done. And this helped avoid a lot of confusion and the whole team did better. Now, Ed chimed in about something that was his pet peeve. Sometimes he would get the team action list and something important was missing. A great best practice that Ed requested was that the team review all action items at the end of every meeting. Now, their action item list was clear and complete. Finally, Adela mentioned that she really didn't like keeping track of the 50 or so emails containing the action list that were emailed out every year. Maybe we could do something different, she said. What if we created one single action list and shared and just continuously updated it in the cloud? So she created a handy spreadsheet, which by the way, you can find and modify for your organization or your team at getcontrol.net forward slash free. This spreadsheet had little drop down menus that could chart progress and priority, and it really helped the entire team add notes and comments on what needed to be done. So it was an extremely successful endeavor. Adela had one other great idea too. Since this was being stored in Microsoft SharePoint, or it could be Google Documents or Microsoft OneDrive or any basically cloud-based document storage system, she recommended that the team left click and drag the little icon next to the, the, uh, the web link to the document and drag it down to their bookmark bar so that whenever they open their browser, they could do one click to open up that document and begin editing or monitoring or completing those action items. Well, the project was a huge success. And just to quickly review, four of the best practices, place those action items in one place, include the who, what, and when over describe each task to avoid procrastination or delays review all action items at the end of each meeting to gain group commitment and for recurring meetings or projects or anything that's going to be ongoing try a cloud-based actionless spreadsheet that you can find at www.getcontrol.net forward slash free